more new big four patterns this time it is from McCall's plus I'd like to call your attention to yet another logo from McCall's like are we ever just gonna settle on one like we don't really care what it looks like let's just pick one um, anyway so they are touting 40 new patterns New arrivals are here to heat up your warm weather wardrobe. So they're not even really calling this like a seasonal, like early spring or summer or whatever. It's just warm weather patterns. And here they do call it spring slash summer though. So this might be our, our last pattern release until early fall. So that might be the ordering of which they are doing them now instead of Six per year, early spring, spring, early summer, summer, early fall, fall, early winter, winter, holiday, that's eight. So instead of eight, we're only going to have six. Early spring and then spring, summer, early fall, and then fall, winter. Wait, that's only four. So they're cutting them in half, um, which is maybe why they've got 40 of them. But because they have 40, I need to stop chatting. I need to get into the patterns so we can take a look. Okay, I'm excited. All right, so first up, we have this Mrs. Dress. Mrs. Pullover Picnic Gathered Open Back Dress. A, B is short with blue sawn sleeves, and C has ruffles. Okay, let's take a look at the picture. So we've got kind of a open, a little bit of a scoop neck. It does look rather wide, the neckline does. Then you've got this really blousey sleeve, true waist seam, Gathered skirt, midi length. The socks and the sandals, are we doing that again? Um, then we have this version here. You guys know I love a ruffle. Um, this ruffle is sewn into a princess seam. Here it is with no frills and a shorter sleeve. Here is the back. So the back has some kind of strapping here comes down, and then some elastic here at the waist. Now this is a, well at least it's low on her. You can absolutely see where her waistline is and where this is hitting. So I think that this is a little bit long-waisted on her and that this is supposed to be sitting up here somewhere. That's how I would make the adjustment, but I'm trying to see also if it's just being pulled, I was going to say being pulled forward but if it was being pulled forward you know because of this is this supposed to be along the neckline like that those are all things that you need to check whenever you're looking at a backless pattern is it falling to the front is that strap in the right place so this makes it look like it's a bow but definitely we didn't see any tie um her hair is also very long so into the side, but they definitely scooped those ties to the side. So you can adjust that tie, which is good. This one here appears to be a bigger ribbon. I actually prefer this one with the style of the dress, um, but they're all cute. You guys know I love a backless moment. There, It doesn't say drop waist, but that definitely looks dropped, doesn't it? I would adjust it to make it not if it were mine. But it also kind of looks like it's scooping down. Maybe the weight of that elastic is kind of pulling it a little bit. Just a few things to check if you're going to be making this. Um, let's go to the fabric, cotton blends, linen, gauze, lightweight denim. I think we're going to be seeing these repeated over and over and over again throughout this entire collection. All of them are perfect for spring and for summer. Lightweight, but with some structure, breathable, you know, all that good stuff. Size is 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. And some finished garment measurements. We do have a bust line measurement 35 and a half to 51. Um, man, that is, I mean, it's a pretty loose fitting dress. So 51 still isn't, well, I mean, it's okay. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. So, but it's, they're not saying it's a woman's pattern either. So. I guess I just got to call a spade a spade. Okay, next up we have, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I have to interrupt this for a moment. Did we 
genuinely do away with the hashtag names? Is that gone now? I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. What, they did that for one year and were like, never mind, it's too much? Just when I was freaking getting used to it? Oh, man. All right. It looks like, yeah, there are no more names. No more names. So, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. But, either way, here is this cutie little dress. Um, it's described as a gathered tier pinafore dress, short and midi lengths color block or print mix. So you have, I guess what makes something a pinafore is the button front. Is that the button straps? Is that right? Kind of straight across here. And then you've got one, two, three tiers. And the first one hits kind of like at an empire waist. Um, are these buttons? This is how you get into it. Interesting. This one has the three tiers, but a shorter ruffle on the bottom. This one, I think, is a longer length in general. I think this one might be a little bit longer than the one the model's wearing. Oh, there it is with a t-shirt. Equally cute. Love her Birkenstocks. Even with her crunched up toes. Maybe the shoes are too small. Um... <laughs> So here's the back. Yeah. So it looks like since there's no shearing or anything here, you get in and out of it through this side. But then they don't even show you really the side view. Interesting. So three lengths, everything else is the same. I would even argue that these first two, the bodice and the first two tiers are the same. The only difference is this little ruffle versus this guy, and then whether or not you color block it. So there's really, they're calling it three views, but that's a bit of a stretch. I want to see the side view. Oh, so annoying. It's like the one interesting detail that sets it apart from anything else. They're just like, yeah, no, we're not really going to show you that. Cotton blends, poplin, chambray linen. So, one eighth inch elastic. 3 8 inch shank buttons, and then 3 quarter inch buttons. They're also not telling you how much of that stuff you need, but these are the 3 quarter inch buttons, and then some number of shank buttons. I don't even really know where the elastic goes. Um, so, interesting. But, then they have dress A, just 2 yards, dress B, a little more than that, and then dress C, they have it split out between the three tiers. Fusible interfacing for three quarters of a yard. Maybe the whole bodice is interfaced? I don't know. Bus line measurements go from 33, these are finished, 33 inches up to uh, 48 and a half. So, but this is also a little bit more fitted. So you probably only have about, I don't know, two inches of wearing ease in this. But do we really want to button up the side of our dress that much? I mean, because I'm counting at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you do that every time. Can we not just put a zipper in? <laughs> I don't know. That seems like an interesting choice. But. Okay, now we have... 8195. This is Mrs. Picnic Flare Dress. What are these picnic dresses? What, what, where does that term come from? Has any of y'all ever heard of that before? Is that like a nod to like the 50s or something? I've never heard of a picnic dress before. Um, picnic Flare Dress with Sweetheart Bodice. B and C have elasticized flare sleeves and A has a strap and B has double fold binding finish. Okay, let's find out what all that means. So we have the Sweetheart Bodice is truly, truly beautiful. I really, really love it. They did this one right. It's not a super modest Sweetheart. I mean, you're going, you're going down deep into the cleavage a little bit. Um, so those of you that have fuller bust might need to raise this a little bit, but it is really, really beautiful. This is the elastic that they're talking about in the sleeve. That kind of what, is what keeps it up on the shoulder. 
You've got this massive sleeve that's made even more voluminous by um, attaching the bias binding to the bottom. That works a lot like hem tape does. Uh, I'm not hem tape. Um, horsehair braid. It kind of does the same thing. It adds additional structure to this, um, which makes it kind of flare out even more. Um, you've got your under bust gathers. There's a whole seam here. Center front seam here. This is your waist seam, I think, with the bias binding over top of it. Here it is with the straps. That has the sleeve with the elastic in it. And then back to the bias bound option. Just a square in the back. And then it zips. So it looks, am I, uh, oh, I thought that the, it looks like the bottom of the bias tape is the waist seam because you can see the seam allowance through here. That's what was confusing me. I kept thinking, is that the seam? But it's not. It's just the seam allowance. Really cute, right? I can't believe they don't do the name still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this one even has pockets. Oh, they all have pockets. Okay. All right. Crepe, polished cotton, chalet, and gingham. And then it's also lined with lining fabrics or voile. I'm wondering if just the cups are lined or if all of this is lined. I'm thinking just the cups. You could also, well... Maybe with like the polished cotton, you could self-line it. It's not that much um, fabric. But yeah, I mean, I think this would be equally cute in any of the other fabrics that they have recommended so far too, where you have like linen, um, shirtings would be great, any of that kind of stuff. Maybe that's what polished cotton is, like a shirting. But chalet, I don't know. I tend to stay away from chalet on like super fitted things. You know, if it were like a blousier top, maybe. Hmm. Cute options. I'm glad they made the bias binding one because um, that's the most unique. All right. Oh, my gosh. This looks just like, um, oh, shoot. From Modern Family, not Sarah Highland, but the other girl, the younger one. It looks just like her. I can't remember her name. Oh, also Bella Thorne. Doesn't she look like Bella Thorne? Okay, sorry, distracted. Um, Mrs. and Women's, so this should have extended sizing, gathered fit and flare dresses, elasticized necklines with puff and ruffle sleeve. C is a halter dress with a tiered skirt. So you've got what makes the halter a halter is it comes up through this little channel here, kind of like a... Um, what were those called? Pillowcase dresses. You remember those when you first started sewing? This one also has like a ruched, like cummerbund kind of, and then one, two, three tiers. Really pretty in white. This one has a flutter sleeve, but also a, uh, high waist seam. So it keeps this, but is it not ruched? It's flat on this version, maybe. And then this one has the elasticated shoulder that can go up on your sleeve up on your shoulder or you can pull it down to expose the shoulder perfect length on that too really really sweet really sweet I can see a wide variety of women wearing this young women middle-aged women older women okay so yeah there are two different midriffs which is really interesting I like that concept a lot this to me feels like, well, it feels like two different versions. This is a little bit, mm, okay, maybe. <laughs> um, cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Really nice. Really sweet. Perfect for spring and summer for sure. Eyelet, gingham, cotton blends, and sateen, and then lining fabrics or voile for your lining. How much is lined? Only seven eighths of a yard of lining. So I think just the bodice. 
Oh, and probably this too, which is how you get the self fabric to be like, um, ruched. And then the lining underneath is flat. Okay. Invisible zipper, um, elastic, and that's it. Okay. So our sizes are eight to 16, 18 to 24, and then 26 to 32. Measurement at bust line goes from, this is finished, and this is a fitted bodice too, so only like maybe two inches of wearing ease, 36 inches up to 55 inches. I wish they gave the waist too, but listen, beggars can't be choosers. I'm happy just to have the bust line. And then, yeah, I think we're seeing more and more where dresses are requiring closer to three yards, if not a little bit more before you could get away with two yards. But I think now that we're doing so much gathers, so many tiers, so many ruffles, so many, you know, bigger pattern pieces, they are requiring more fabric. Our, oh gosh. All right. Now we've got, this is another Mrs. And women's dress. Okay, Mrs. and Women's Fit and Flare dress. I'm sorry, there was just a lot to take in with all of this. Um, round square neckline. B has a split V in that round square. And sleeveless, short, or three-quarter sleeves. A is a color block or print mix option. I'm trying to see what is happening in this seam. Is it just the lighting catching it funny? Really strange, right? Okay, so we've got princess seams right all the way down, I think. I, I think this is a seam. I can't tell why it's so much lighter right there. Either way, princess seam... You've got this square neckline that's rounded on the corners. You have an option of a notch. This is sitting away from her shoulder a little bit. Hard to say why. This sleeve looks fine in terms of, you know, the shoulder width and fullness in the sleeve. But it's also really short on her. Um... So there's that. Then you can, like, why did the illustrator pick blue and yellow? Like, of all the colors to, like, put together. <laughs> now we've got a plaid version. That's also interesting. This is a princess seam. It also has a center front seam. This is the round square neckline without the notch. Yeah, okay, okay. With the sneakers... With McCall's being a younger-ish, I, I use younger in quotation marks. It doesn't mean that only young people can wear this. Go back and watch my branding video if you want my full thoughts on, on branding for the big four. But, okay, fine. I can see why they made it just above knee length. But you can also easily lengthen it, too. That's, that's the thing. Length is one of the easiest things to do. I cannot for the life of me figure out what is going on with these, is it the seam allowance showing through on this fabric? That must, that has to be it. This has to be a pretty sheer fabric and okay. Okay. So we're going to ignore that because that is a fabric thing and not a pattern thing. Cause you can also see here on the facing that, um, it looks like two different fabrics, but it's not. Um, so the square round square neckline in the back center back invisible zipper. Um, Yeah, I do like this silhouette a lot. Um, I think it's very flattering on all types of bodies, whether you're pear, apple, whatever all the other fruits are. I do think it looks good on a lot of different body types. I just think it's maybe unfortunate um, fabric choice. And then this styling is just... Uh, something. Something's not matching up. I don't know if it's the model and the styling, like she looks uncomfortable or something, or if it's because they're like 
in this weird office waiting room and she's got these pink sun I don't know something something's not right with that I'm trying to look past that <laughs> but when I do that then I see this version and then this version so so you really have to use your imagination on this one but I think it could be cute <laughs> um all right did we miss anything I don't think so it's pretty straightforward pretty straightforward I also feel like I have this um, this is pretty, when it comes to this, um, style of fit and flare dress, this is about as basic as it gets. I mean, they changed up the neckline a little bit, but other than that, it's just your three sleeves, sleeveless, short sleeve, long sleeve, and nothing else really unique about it at all. So you might have something like this in your stash already. Okay. Poplin, cotton, sateen, and denim, any of those lightweight, but kind of structured fabrics would be great for this one. I, even a drapier fabric would be fine too. You just have to be careful around the fitted parts. Like I said before about Shally, I just get nervous about Shally being like too clingy, too thin and clingy. All you need is an invisible zipper. And then we have eight to 16, 18 to 24 and 26 to 32 on the size range. Um, here's dress a, uh, one side and here's the other side. And then fusible interfacing. There's actually a lot of fusible. I know it's the facing for sure. And then maybe something else too. And then three ish yards for B and C. B and C have a lot less fusible interfacing. What is up with that? <coughs> Hold on. A, B and C. Oh, mm -hmm. Why would the sleeveless version have a lot more fusible interfacing? Unless it's like an all-in-one facing, that must be it. So it's face, <laughs> the facing goes around the arms too, where in these versions they don't. Okay, finished garment measurements, 34 and a half bust up to 57 and a half bust. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Again, not super um fitted but you know there are a few inches of ease in there for sure wearing ease all right now we've got women's and mrs dresses and jumpsuits golly i don't know what it is i don't want to say it's the model it can't be her but look she's never been less happy she's like what is this okay what do we have here Oh, let's read the description. Mrs. and women's princess seam dresses and jumpsuit. A has contrast. Okay. So we've got another really beautiful sweetheart neckline. Really, really pretty. This one has the elastic in the sleeve again and a nice bubble sleeve. Elastic at the hem too. And then we've got these princess seams. It seems to fit her beautifully. Um, it does have a bit of a... Um, I don't remember what this is called, but it's, you know, her natural waist is up here and then this drops down kind of like a corset ish thing. Then you've got your gathered skirt, pretty straightforward. And this one is maxi length. Here's the jumpsuit version, longer sleeve option. Here it is with the bonkers color block. Like now we're doing pink and yellow. Yep. Yeah, the fitting looks really great on this. I don't see anything. I wish they would have put her in the jumpsuit, though. I don't know. Maybe it's the proportions. Because I imagine she's also pretty tall. I mean, this is me just completely speculating here. So <laughs> I don't know if the proportions are right. I don't know. It's cute. It's very cute. Nothing about it looks bad on her. I just, I, I don't know. I, uh, mm, 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 mm. What is it? I can't put my finger on it. At least I took off those stupid sunglasses. I do wish she were wearing the jumpsuit though. That's what I would have wanted to see her in. Yeah, maybe it's just this elongated bodice on her tall figure maybe it's something about that I don't know but 
either way. Here are our line drawings. Strap, short sleeve, long sleeve, and then everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, except for the skirt and the pants, obviously. All right, gingham, cotton blend, sateen, and poplin. We need a little bit of lining. Uh, zipper, um, elastic, and then the same three sizes we've seen in the last few patterns. Um, one and an eighth yards if you're doing the contrast. You do line the bodice fully. And then dress B is three yards. Dress, I mean, the jumpsuit is three and seven, almost four yards. Same bodice lining for that. And then finished bust line measurement is 34 and a half to 57 and a half. Again, pretty fitted. So. All right, now we've got this little number here. We're back with uh, Bella Thorne, Mrs. and Women's again. So this is our fourth pattern in a row where they're doing both groups. Um, fit and flare, knit dress with bodice and skirt length options. C includes a sash. N knit dresses. Okay, I want to make sure I read that right. So you've got a basic tank into a gathered skirt maybe and some kind of like slit here. Look how cute these shoes are. <laughs> so... The bodice is plain. Then you have the princess seams. Anytime I see this silhouette, I just like to warn people about making something that looks fit for the skating rink. <laughs> um, it can it can go picking depending on your fabric. It can go skating rink pretty easily. Um, this one I think is stunning. I love the idea of this like I don't know, almost like athletic tank but into like the skirt of a ball gown. I don't know. I just think that's so cool. I don't even know if this is hemmed. Oh, no, it is. Okay. So it looks like you've got the same bodice and then one alternate bodice and then three lengths on the skirts. One bodice, two bodice, and then... Oh, actually, these two skirts are the same. One, they've just finished the um, one of the seams, and the other one, they didn't. Then you have a longer version and the option of a belt. I quite like this. Did they ever show us the back? I guess it's just... Oh, here she is. Yeah, I think this is a great idea. I think they used some kind of ITY knit for this, too. It's a great use for ITY. Um, slinky, you know, just imagine it in the summer when you're, like, super hot. All you want is something cool and slinky on your body. All right, two-way, 50% stretch knits, jerseys, interlock, and cotton blend knits. Two-way stretch, though. That's the one thing you have to pay attention to. Um, elastic, one yard of it somewhere, maybe in the waist seam to reinforce the waist seam. And then fabric requirements, yeah, this one's going to take a lot. <laughs> four and, well, four yards, um, up to four yards for dress A, and then the longer version is almost eight yards. But look how pretty it was. It's stunning. It'd be worth every bit of those eight yards. Every bit of it. <laughs> Just find something on clearance on fabric.com. You know, you can get something for like five, six dollars a yard. It's still expensive, but you would have a stunning, stunning dress. No finished garment measurements on this one. Okay, Minnie Mouse. Is this what I'm going to be calling this one from now until the end of time? Did they not see that when they picked out this fabric? Mrs. Baby Doll dress with and without sleeves, and then C has a ruffle. Okay, well, this is a kind of like this, that, I don't know, this is more of a U neck. True empire bodice. So this is absolutely something that you are going to need to check the length of, especially if you have anything larger than a B cup, because you want to make sure there is enough length for it to go up and over your breast tissue. Then you've got a gathered skirt here. 
um, a nut, same kind of poofy sleeve into a band. We've seen it a thousand times. This one also has a shorter length, which is traditional of the baby doll dress. Um, and this one has a ruffle added to the bottom. This one's sleeveless. There you go. Perfect with the little Mary Jane. Cute. Then here's the back, which it looks like they were like, we need more pictures. Call in another model. And then they found this girl. Um, so yeah, same you in the back. Now this reminds me a lot of the one that I did the bra carriers on. Um, if y'all saw that tutorial, uh, this probably would need that as well, just to make sure it stays up on your shoulders. Nice. Cute. Cute, simple, easy to sew, easy to fit. Just truly, truly check this. I like how low the scoop is. I do like that. But you just need to make sure that this is long enough to go over your breasts. Um, yardage, poplin, cotton blend, sateen, and denim, and then you need some lining fabrics. Invisible zipper is all you need for notions. And then we've just got the misses sizing, 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. And then this one is just going to take up to two and a half yards, no matter what version. And then a little bit of lining for that bodice. All right. Now here is a pink and orange that I don't hate. That actually looks really good together. So maybe I stand corrected on the other ones or maybe just <laughs> these tones of it are different than that illustration. I don't know. Mrs. V-neck bodycon dress in short, midi, and long lengths with half and long sleeves. B is color blocked and B and C have decorative buttons. They got the memo on the square toe shoe. Square toes are like everything right now. I'm sure they use some kind of rib knit on this, I'm guessing. But it is, it is body con. By definition, body conscious, I think is what body con stands for. Body contour, maybe. I don't know. Um, but it's fitted everywhere. <laughs> fitted everywhere. Um, this one has the elbow sleeve. It has a really pretty... Um, I don't think this is a band. I think, is it a band? Maybe a band. Nice and wide, which I like. These buttons are humongous, which is kind of like still in the 80s situation. Yeah, I mean, it fits. The thing with Bodycon is it's going to be tight around your fullest parts and then loose around your not fullest parts. And the idea is to find the best balance you can between those two things where it's not too tight here and too loose here. I think they did a decent job with the, with the fit model. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I have nowhere to go in this. This feels like a clubbing going out like hot, dress and I don't that's I don't have that lifestyle <laughs> that is like the furthest from my lifestyle um I love a dress but I mean if I can't wear it to Target what's the point that said though there are I'm, I'm just like thinking this through my mind there are people who wear these dresses to Target with sneakers and like a denim jacket and they look super cute so maybe I stand corrected Maybe I could pull something like this off. I just choose not to. <laughs> okay. And that's okay. I'm within my rights to just be really odd when it comes to certain dresses. All right. Rib knit, jersey, and interlock. Uh, decorative buttons. 6 to 14 and 16 to 24 on the sizing. Less than two yards for, oh, but B has two parts. Okay, so yeah, B is a little bit more. And then dress C is three yards because it's the longest one. So there you go. No, I guess we're not going to do finished garment measurements on knits because it's too confusing to some people. I don't know. Now we have this girl. They put her on the cover with the mask and the hat. I mean, I don't know about all that, but... Let's, let's just take a look, and then at the end, I'll give you my full assessment. <laughs> Mrs. Pullover, 
raglan sleeve dress, I like that, with placket necklines. A has tucks and short sleeves. B has a shirt tail hem. Uh, B and C have long sleeves. D has a tie belt. E is a wide rim sun hat. F is a mask. Wow. Mrs. Dress, belt, hat, and mask. Okay, so let's talk about the dress. So this is the placket that they're talking about. Um, this is basically the same sort of construction for like a Henley. It's sort of the same jumping off point. You just don't have the buttons. <coughs> um, you still have the gathering around this part of the placket raglan sleeve. So you don't have a true set in sleeve, which also means if you make it out of a stable-ish cotton like this one is, you will have, there's not a lot of shaping going on, on the top of this sleeve. So it does stick away from the body quite a bit. Which balances out the weight, the belt, you know, because it pulls in at the waist. And then you have kind of like a flared skirt. But without this belt, I imagine there's no seam here. This is all one piece. And then these pockets, I can't tell if they are side seam or what. But you've got the ear loops, face mask. That really does make her eyes look beautiful. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So no seams anywhere. I quite, maybe it, this is like post-pandemic me talking, but I'm loving these waistless dresses. Can be nightgown-y, but you just got to pay attention to the fabric and not make it like too florally, too pastel, and you should be fine. Long sleeve with the elastic in this one. This one has the shirt tail hem. In my opinion, the shirt tail hem makes it even more like a nightgown. Um, so be even extra careful about that. But yeah, there she is with her flats, her hat, and her mask. I quite, I like the hat. You know, I wouldn't mind making a hat. I need something um, that I can wear when I'm, you know, taking honey out for a walk, you know, and I just need something to keep the sun out of my face. That could be a good option. But I'm not entirely sold on the rest of the pattern. I mean, the dress is okay, but it's nothing special. It's okay special. <laughs> All right, so here is A. Wait, did A have... I didn't realize these tucks. That's where they're talking about. The tucks. Okay, fine. I like the dress now. This is unique enough. Just totally hidden by the print on this. I would have made it in a solid. <laughs> to really like call this out but <laughs> that also makes it <laughs> a lot less nightgowny too um but you can see on the line drawing b i mean that could be like a nightgown pattern and then your belt your hat and your mask yeah i don't know maybe maybe that's an option cotton blends linen seersucker gingham and then some lining you'll need some elastic some ribbon Ribbon for E. What, what was E? Was E the mask? <clears throat> What's funny is that they said A, D, E, but she's only wearing A and D. She doesn't have D, E on right now. Oh, wait. F is the mask. Oh, what the heck? Oh, the belt. Okay, okay. My bad. I stand corrected. She does have them all on. Okay, I'm, dig I'm digressing. Um, the elastic. That's what I was doing. The elastic for E. Well, they didn't have the mask on the front. E is the hat. Interesting. There's some elastic in the hat. Okay. And then little littler elastic, <laughs> narrower elastic for the mask. And then these are alphanumeric. Uh, patterns so extra small to medium and then large to 2x that translates into a bust line of 41 to 58 and a half finished and a hip of 50 I'm sorry 45 to 62 and a half finished so yeah I would be in the middle range something like this from between blend between here and here because you do want to have all that fullness of the the dress too 
All right, so three yards, four yards, four and a half yards, and then the belt is additional yardage, the hat is additional yardage, the mask is additional yardage. But I wonder how much of that, like if you didn't make all of these individually, how much of the belt could you fit into your extra yardage here? Or could you fit the mask, you know, in those little negative spaces? Probably. Okay. Now, oh, this one's cute. Oh, this one's real cute. I feel like I had one like this. But it was way too small, and so I gave it away. Something like that. Mrs. Sundress's pullover style with elastic at back and tie strap option. B has a ruffle hem, and C is tiered. So, it's the idea of this band being fitted, and then this flaring out below it that I like so much. Plus the big wide strap, too. And I just feel like that tier specifically on this one really does balance out all of this. I feel like this is something that um, Carrie Bradshaw would wear. I love this version. You could definitely make it in like, I think she has like a crepe or something on, but you could definitely make it in like silky fabrics and just have something really really pretty I wonder what that so they just have elastic through here but why <laughs> yeah see but it's clearly like not really holding it to her body very well huh interesting that would definitely be something I'd have to like, you know, try on and see what was really going on with that. But do the bows, you can do no bows, and then the tiered option here. Also cute. Kind of looks like one of those towel wrap dresses too. You've seen those, you know, where you got a shower and you do the little towel wrap. So make one out of, you know, make one out of this for sure. Like, this version here without the tear and with also without the bows. So like combine these two or make it super short, you know, a great like beach thing would be to make a towel dress for sure. It's cute. Okay. Um, yardage, cotton blends, Swiss dot, poplin and crepes, no lining though. So <laughs> Swiss dot is a little bit sheer. Don't you think? Um, but, but whatever <laughs> um you need some elastic it's what in the world is 11 fourths of an inch elastic it must mean one and one quarter inch that's what they mean okay there's supposed to be a space here that's pretty wide elastic um interesting okay alphanumeric sizing extra small to medium and large to 2x uh two and an eighth of a yard same and then half a yard more for is that right no three quarters of a yard more for the one with all the tiers bus line is 39 to 56 and a half and then your hip line is 44 to 61 and a half but again pretty very roomy in the hip line and sort of fitted through the bus line Yeah, I like that one. Now we have this version here. Tell me this fabric is what is making this so. Yeah, gotta be the fabric. Uh, Mrs. Dress and Mask. Drop waist, gathered dress, and elasticized mask. So, drop waist. Truly, drop waist. Like, her waist is here. This is more like her high hip. Spaghetti strap. Uh, sweetheart neckline, gathered skirt, but minimal gathers. And then there's her face mask. 
Oh, there it is with like a little dolman sleeve and the lace trim. Yep, I totally see where they're going with this. This again is kind of like a reference to the 90s. There it is with two tiers. Imagine that in gauze, you guys. Wouldn't that be like the most breezy, dreamy thing you've ever worn? If you're super, super nervous about the dropways, which I can see why some of you would be, a lot of you probably are wondering why I'm not. <laughs> a lot of you are probably like, but Lindsay, don't you think pear shapes, that would be, I don't know. I don't think so on this one, simply because the whole thing is so loose. I just feel like this creates just a little bit more visual interest. But if you're worried about this calling attention to your, like the widest part of you or close to the widest part of you, add the other tiers. It'll totally distract from all of that. And you could, if you wanted, add one at the um, waistline too. And then that will completely detract from everything. People are going to look back on these patterns like 50 years from now, you know, when these are vintage patterns and be like, what is with these face masks? Either that or they're going to be like, wow, the first year that they ever included face masks and now every single pattern has a face mask. One, one of the others, something like that. <laughs> All right. Cotton blends, poplin, gingham and crepe. Uh, bias tape, tr lace trim. And then some elastic for your mask. Same alphanumeric sizing as before. Up to two and a half yards for the strappy version. And then once you start to add the tiers, then we start getting more and more. Um, then your mask is here. Three different sizes of masks. And then finished garment measurements. A and B, and then C gets its own measurement. Why is that? A and B. So the one with the straps is a different bus line measurement? Huh. That's kind of interesting. By an inch and a half. Huh. That's real interesting. Either way. 36 and a half up to 54 and then 35 up to 52 and a half. There must be something where the strap makes the bust more fitted because why, 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 why? <laughs> because of the neckline maybe? I don't know. Something about having this strap means the bust has to be more fitted. So that could work for you or against you. You know, if you're a more fuller busted gal, go for A or B. If you're that A or B cup, maybe you'll like how C fits better. And then that's it. That's all we have. Just that bust measurement. Okay. Now we have these little girls nightgowns, which, I mean, we'll take a look at, but I don't really know much about fit. We'll just look through them really quickly. You see why I thought that that other pattern could look like a nightgown? <laughs> it's pretty much exactly like this one. Oh, they're cute. Cute, cute. Yeah, so on your, if you get that other dress, just make sure that you're not doing a little ditzy floral. You're not doing something in this like tea stained kind of vintagey color and you should be good. All right, now we've got a little romper. Mrs. Romper, jumpsuits, and sash. So, uh, sleeveless and puff sleeves, round square neckline again. So, zooming in on the neckline, we've got the round square neckline, um, uh, gathered shoulder on the sleeve into a band. Again, we've seen that a thousand times. Again, this is one of those that you probably need the bra carriers for. This, again, feels a little bit long-waisted on her. Oh, man, by kind of a lot. I think this is her waistline up here. Um, but you have princess seams in the bodice, gathers in the pant. This seems to fit pretty well. Side seam pockets, and then an ankle length. <laughs> oh, that one they added a ruffle to the neckline. Well, that's cute. Ruffle neckline, no sleeves, and then you add the tie belt. 
Like, why didn't they make her that? You know? The fit is good, though. The fit is really good. Look at all this through here. Um, a little bit sketchy <laughs> construction on this zipper, but, um, yeah, the fit through the crotch looks really great. Leg line looks awesome. Side seam pockets, which I don't love for this exact reason. <laughs> um, so I would probably omit or figure out how to switch it to a, um, like a slash or I don't know, something. <clears throat> but yeah, cute. Also cute. I don't know about the collar and the sleeve. That All of that just seems a little bit too much. Um, Poplin, Cotton Blend, Denim, and Chalet. Again, we're, like I said, we're going to see those fabrics over and over again. 20-inch zipper, hook and eye, uh, 6 to 14, and 16 to 24 on the size range. Two and a half, three and a quarter, three and an eighth, depending on which version you make. Bust measurement. Oh, this has separate cup sizes. This one has separate cup sizes. I think anytime there's a princess seam, it's easier to adjust for cups. I would like to see different cup sizes on those patterns that are harder to do the full bust adjustment on. You know, but either way, you've got, uh, let's just call it 33 and a half up to 51 for your bust there. The hip line is 36 inches up to 51 and a half. Now, and this is finished, so maybe that's the same. I'm trying to remember the last time I made something that had kind of a close fitting hip like this. Is this, a, did they extend their sizes? I feel like I was at the top of the size range in uh, in the hip area, and I'm a 48-inch hip. So one of two things is happening here. One is they extended it by one size, or the pattern just has this three and a half inches of ease, and I would still be at the top of the... I don't ever remember making a 24. I remember making 20s and then having to add to it myself. Are these two new? Those of you who are in the same boat as me and you're like at the top of the range. Are these new? Okay. Now we have this cute little number. Lots of rompers and jumpsuits. This one is romper and jumpsuit with gathered waist. A and B have a tie front. C has a V-neck and sash. Cute. Is this knit? Yeah, knit. Loving that. There it is <clears throat> in a short version. Pants version sleeveless. Oh, this was the, with the sash and not the tie. Okay. I like the tie though. It's different. And it's like, it's like secretively flattering. Because you would think, oh, I have all this extra fabric here. It's going to make my waist look bigger. But it actually makes it look smaller. It's like a, what a cardigan does. How it adds, you know, the extra layer that makes you, tricks your mind into thinking, oh, look how small she is going into that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, and there's the back is totally separate too. So it really looks like separates. That's kind of cool. I like this. I don't have a ton of knits in my stash, guys. Um... I just have never really been into making knit stuff, but now, I don't know. This is adorable. I love this. I would make this a million times over. Cute, cute. And then this feels like it's just a basic, like, block, like a jumping off point. You could do a whole bunch of different things with this version here. You know, if you just needed some, like, knit basics. Um, okay, two-way, 50% stretch knits, like jersey, interlock, and cotton blend knits. Some elastic, I think, for the waistband, 6 to 14 and 16 to 24, again, on the sizing. Two and a half to three yards and no finished garment measurements. I don't think they're providing those again on knits. Oh, now we've got this one. I'm a sucker for overalls right now, too. They're just, like, 
totally my jam. Totally my jam. Learn to sew. So this is one of the learn to sew for fun patterns. Um, overalls with tie straps in multiple lengths. Now, I am very eager to see if the intention is to have this so low or if it was too short in the rise. I don't know how we will know that for sure, but <laughs> it's really simple and straightforward. Different length pants, different closures at the top. But other than that, it's really, really straightforward. There you got a patch pocket. These have side seam pockets too. And I don't know if everyone had that, has this opening on the side that low. I can't remember. Oh yeah, I guess she does. Yeah. Hmm. It, you know, I, oh, her braid is pretty. Oh, and then back pockets. <laughs> I can 1000% see how people who are learning to sew younger girls or boys who want to learn how to sew would be attracted to this pattern and into thinking, Oh my gosh, I can make this. And they definitely can. And it definitely would be cute. I get it. But for those of us that have been sewing for a while, I'm kind of looking at this like, I don't, it feels a little phoned in. It feels a little like, like a throwaway. Um, it's almost like too simple. And I should definitely not criticize a pattern for being too simple, but I guess because I've been making so many of these like overalls and pinafores and rompers and things that this one just feels it's like the basic of that. If that if that had a basic, it would be this. I also would absolutely have to raise this bib. I can't do a bib that's like cutting me across the nipples. I can't do that. It's cute. It's definitely something. Let's see what the fabric requirements are or suggested fabrics. Twill, linen, cotton blends, and chinos. So yeah, they're definitely going for, maybe it's because this is like looking like a silky fabric. You know, I don't know. Something about this. Hmm. I do like their Birkenstock collection though. The, these bronze ones are real pretty. Okay. Grommets, uh, alphanumeric sizing, well, darn, these little shorts here only take one and three quarters of a yard of fabric. So <laughs> there's a lot to be said for that. Um, and then less than two still for the B version and just above three for the pants. Hip line measurement is 36 and a half to 53 and a half. So again, I'd probably be making... Uh, this 2XL size range has got to be new. Because these aren't like super, super loose fitting at the hip. Y'all let me know if y'all think so too. Those of you at the top of the range. All right. Now we've got ooh, another face mask. Um, Mrs. Top and mask. Mrs. V-neck dolman blouses. Multiple lengths and sleeves. Mask with elastic. Okay. So dolman sleeve, v-neck, but that's got like a placket type thing happening. Oh, it's a button front. Now I see. Button front, ooh, high-low hem, or is it falling to the back? No, it definitely was falling to the back. Here is her shoulder seam, I think. That's the seam allowance from the shoulder seam. And then... What is this goopy thing? Is that from the sleeve? Yeah. Gosh, Dolman sleeves are so tough. Did she have this little gathering thing happening? She does. It's from here to here. Hmm. This just looks a little bit sloppy um, on her. These, these pictures look great. If it really hung that way, that would be fine, but like this big fold and like this thing that's happening and how this hem is getting curved. 
Eh, I don't know. But it's one of those things, too, that only I and you guys probably notice those things. If she were to show up at a little party or whatever, wherever she's going in this with her platform heels, um, nobody would notice that stuff. It's just me. Here's the back. So it's just a center back seam. You just pull it. Yeah, it's button front. So why do we even have the center back seam? I guess maybe some shaping going on in there. Mm, okay. I'd like to see it on some more bodies before I make my final decision. Look at these line drawings, though. Those certainly don't help, do they? It, it, it definitely can be cute. I know it can. Maybe it's the fabric's too stiff. I don't know. Maybe if it were like a drapier fabric. Maybe. Cotton blend, gingham, Swiss dot, and gauze. So yeah, they're definitely going for some more of those like structured lightweight fabrics instead of drapey, you know, silky, shally, crepe, things like that. Maybe you could find like a good Goldilocks version of those, of all of those. So buttons. 5 8 inch buttons, elastic for the sleeve and elastic for your mask. And then under 2 yards for the short sleeve version and then long sleeve and then the other sleeve. I don't remember what it looked like. Oh, yeah, this version. So it's longer in the bodice. Which one was she wearing? She's wearing B, which is cropped. Hmm. I don't know that it being longer would really help with any of those things that I mentioned, but who knows, maybe. All right, so there's your mask. Why do we have a contrast mask? I don't even know what any of this means. We only get a size large in the mask. Are we also putting fusible interfacing in our mask? No, thank you. Something happened here, I think. All right, yeah. <laughs> very, very roomy bust. 38 inches up to 55 and a half. And then the lower edge width is the same, supposedly. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense either, but... Okay. Maybe it is. No. There's no way that there's the same room here as there is here. All right. Well, we're into like pattern number 30 and maybe at this point the web designers are just exhausted. <laughs> okay. This is a really good example of what I was telling you about the other baby doll dress and I'll point it out in more detail once we get to the bigger pictures. But baby doll pullover tops, cropped and hip lengths, straps, puff, and three quarter sleeves. What sleeves did the other one have? Hold on. Let me go back. I just want to know how different they are. So that one had a scoop neck, this, and then it had um, how many sleeve options? Sleeveless and then two sleeve options. Okay. I just want to make sure that they didn't just like chop off that pattern and then call it a new pattern. Um, so this one has a like center front gathered situation. And then it's also gathered underneath. The problem here is that her bust tissue actually fills out down through here. This seam needs to come down like this. This is cutting off like a third of her boob. I'm sure if they pulled this down, like tugged on the bottom, and got this to sit right. So I think something happened with the elastic and also the size of this little bra situation. Maybe the elastic's too tight and it's pulling this whole thing up. I do feel like this is big enough to hold all of her breast tissue, but for whatever reason, it's not sitting in the right place. So triple check that. The sleeve on this one, I like a million times more than the other one. I actually, overall, like the design of this pattern more than the last one. And you can easily just lengthen this into a dress and you'd have the baby doll dress. Or take the dress version, 
crop it, and now you have a top version. I'm a little surprised they didn't just make tops and dress versions of those, but whatever. Um, this one has a little ruffle on the bottom. This feels very like There's Something About Mary, you know, in the 90s, that movie, early 2000s. We have this sleeve with a little cuff here. This is a really, really cute pattern. You just, you must check this. This to me feels like I can't breathe just looking at her because I'm so uncomfortable. All I want to do is go pull down. Maybe it's too small. Maybe it's too tight. Maybe that's what it is. But I mean, come on, how cute is that? Adorable. Oh, maybe, <coughs> excuse me, maybe, well, no, I was going to say, there's a lot of elastic happening here, right? There's elastic here, elastic here, elastic here. Maybe that was what was contributing to it, but now I don't, I don't think so. This looks still pretty, pretty loosey-goosey. It's just the front, man. Yeah, like her bust apex is like down here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, here's our line drawings. Maybe it's just a matter of like adding a little scoop here for extra measure. But unfortunately, you'd have to muslin this one, even though it's so simple and so straightforward. At least muslin this and the sleeve maybe you know, but it is so cute. Yardage, cotton blends, lawn, poplin, polished cotton. You're also lining this little bust area. What is this? Is that price in Italian? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so we'll just skip that. Single fold bias tape, seam binding, 3 8 inch elastic, and those are your lengths of elastic. Half inch. I think this is supposed to not be on here, and it's just supposed to start here with the package. 6 to 14, and then 16 to 24 on the size range. One and a half yards. Two and an eighth and two and a half, depending on the ruffle, the sleeve, all of that. And then your bust line measurement is 33 and a half to 49 and a half. Cutie. All right, now we've got a fun little crop top. Okay, Mrs. Convertible Collar Cropped Camp Blouse and Top. Short puff and long sleeves, elasticized and tie front hems. Now she looks like Maddie Ziegler. This girl is like a million different celebrities in one. Um, I mean, judging from the how they're styling this, the jeans that they put them with, this is clearly like they're aiming for a Gen Z market. Fine. Um, but screw it. I would wear this. Not with those jeans but I would wear this with an elasticized skirt that probably matches and would be soups cute. So take that. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know what convertible collar means, but you've got this center front seam into your notched collar, gathered sleeve head into a band, or you can tie it off in the front and have this long sleeve with elastic. Oh, then there's this version that actually makes it longer with a ribbon something or another. I can't tell <coughs> what if that's tied like a drawstring inside, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's uh, basically like a, I don't know, like a casing put on the outside. And then your drawstring goes through that. So that's cool. I still don't know what a convertible collar is. You guys know what a convertible collar is? Convertible collar? Convertible to what? What does it convert to? Uh, poplin, cotton blends, crepe, charmeuses. Yep. 
I think that that is cute and I would love to wear that. One inch elastic. B and C have snaps. B and C have snaps. B and C have snaps. Wonder where. There's got to be something with the center front, right? Hmm. And then three quarter elastic for C. Maybe there's elastic in the waist. This would be also adorable if you were to extend this into a dress. I'm just going to put that out there too. Um, okay, so one and a half ish yards, one and a half ish, one and three quarters, uh, some interfacing, and then bust line is 36 to 51 and a half inches. I think we've seen that same size range quite a bit on these kind of like sort of loose fitting um, bodices. But so far, I'm not seeing a ton of issues when it comes to fit at all. Um, either, you know, the availability of models that they have that are within their fit um, garment, the mock-up that they make, they're, they have more of those models, and so they're just fitting the models better, or they're paying more attention to those little details um, than they did in, in previous collections. But this one is a knit surplus, which just means like a kind of like faux cross crossover, uh, sleeveless cap and long sleeves, cropped and hip length. Okay. I don't know if this is intentional, this little monkey thing happening here, but it just crosses over into a wide band. Again, triple leg checking that all of your breast tissue fits above this seam. Yeah, this took them maybe 30 minutes to design. I mean, we could probably self-draft this. Certainly not something that is like over the moon difficult. But that said, going back to my conversation and comments about me and my knit basics, I have loved wearing the Astoria crop top from Seamwork after I made it for Stylemaker Fabrics. This could be my summer version of that, right? It hits, I mean, a little bit higher, but I could definitely like adjust it. Um, and then I'd have a short sleeve version and a sleeveless version. I love a crossover too. So maybe I'd pick this up just to not have to worry about having to do it myself. Yeah, okay. Um, 35% moderate stretch knits. So this is the, the, I don't know how am I trying to say that? This is the most sturdy knit that they recommended. The others were 50% two-way stretch, which is much stretchier and also all around stretchy. This is less stretchy and they're, they only say it has to be one way. So that to me means it's a little bit more, um, a little not constricting. That's not the word, not compression either. It's not like Spanx. It's not holding you in, but a little bit more like that. Jerseys, cotton blend knits and interlock rib knit. Yeah. Adorable in a rib knit. Um, uh, bias tape, seam binding, one yard, one eighth of a yard, one half yard. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that I would go somewhere like Stylemaker Fabrics, invest in their like really great quality, basic, basic, um, either mid-weight cotton jersey, their rib knits are really excellent because you only need a yard of it. Like you should make it exceptional. You know, it'll last forever and ever, always hold its color, always hold its shape. Um, you'd be like, you'd make one and you'd be done. Well, one in every color. Um, okay. Uh, oh, they did give us a measurement at the bus line. Remember this has got to have a little bit of negative ease in it. 30 inches to 45 and a half. And then the B and C tops have one inch more. B and C. B and C. 
So for whatever reason, the longer tops have more bust ease. That literally makes no sense to me, but I don't draft patterns. So I don't, maybe that does make sense to somebody. Not to me though. <laughs> so are there separate? There's no way that there's separate pattern pieces for A, B, and C. Hmm. That's piqued my interest. Okay. Page two. This is like the never ending um, <laughs> first impression video. Maybe this girl isn't the same as the other one. I don't know. I can't tell. Um, Mrs. Elasticized Tops in three links. A has bando link. Okay. So, you again, we're like somebody better have taken out stock and elastic because <laughs> this collection is elastic everywhere. So we've got this elastic top. This is just like the Mimi G pattern, the simplicity one. It has the little basic strap and then the elastic at the waist. Very, very blousey. This one has like a peplum situation happening. But that's Mimi's top. She did the same thing. I wonder if she's pissed. Um, I mean, not like anybody knows what she's going to turn in, I don't think. But um, then this one with the lace trim. So cute. I mean... I know you were looking at that earlier and thinking I could never wear that, but this is ageless. Anybody can wear this and look super cute in it. I think even if you have a fuller bust, it kind of minimizes it a little bit, maybe. But this is an adorable little outfit. I love it. I love that so much. It would be so cute with a romper, too. With not a romper, but the, like... Um, lightweight culottes, like, it's cute. Maybe I won't be making this version, but these two, I could do totally see myself wearing those. And this cannot take much fabric at all. They're calling for charmeuse, cotton blends, gingham, and gauze. Just keep in mind that the Drapier the fabric, the more all of this will fall close to your body and stand away from it less. Elastic bias tape lace, alphanumeric sizing, less than a yard, about a yard, up to a yard for the other one. Uh, for the, this is the bandeau, this is the peplum top, and this is the one with the lace trim. And then no finished garment measurements. I guess because it's all based on elastic, really. So, super easy to make. Then, this is the sister to this one, I feel like. Is her hat included? Oh, I like her hat better than the other hat. Mrs. Bubble Tops in cropped waist and upper hip lengths. These are cute, guys. These tops with high-waisted skirts. I mean, okay, no. I'm not wearing them with jeans where my belly button is showing. But if I had like a high-waisted short or pant, so cute. This one has elastic here, elastic here, and <laughs> elastic here. I mean, like, was this really part of the decor to begin with? Or did they, like, find some artist to bring that in to make it look edgier? It's real cute, you guys. It's real cute. It's real throwback. It's real 90s, real early 2000s. I get that. But I think it's totally wearable and totally cute, too. I know y'all are thinking. I've lost it. Gauze, crepe, polished cotton, and Georgette. Again, same thing as I said last time. The drapier the more this will like fall down close to your body and the more structured the fabric is, the more it will kind of stand away. All the elastic, you just, just buy all the elastic in all the sizes. Um, alphanumeric sizing and then up to one and a half, two, two and a half, depending on the length. I mean, there is a lot of volume here, right? There's, there's a lot of fabric here. Maybe it's just rectangles, but um, they're bigger rectangles. So, and then finished bust measurements, 46 and a half to 64. Again, 
pretty much negligible because it's so loose fitting through the bust and the elastic really is what pulls everything else in. All right. Oh, who whose dress is this? I mean, who's top? And we, you guys have been talking about how simplicity is like making direct knockoffs of uh, indie patterns. This is one too, especially this version. Oh, whose is it? I, it's in pink. They have it in solid pink. Am I right? Oh, I can't remember. Anyways, Mrs. Square Neck Top with and without ruffles, sleeved and sleeveless views, cropped and hip length. Did we not get a I was like, where's the model? So, square neckline, gathers here, raglan sleeve, but it also has this. So, this intersection here, oh, and it has a mitered corner. Okay, well, let me just tell you, this will have you cursing in every language you know. <laughs> um, this is a lot like it was for that uh, dress that I made out of the, out of the Goodwill sheet. This intersection here is no fun. This mitered corner isn't the most fun. Um, so this looks maybe a little bit easy, simple and straightforward, but it actually is really tough construction. I wish they would have put her in one of the frilly ones, but man, look how wide that sleeve is. You can fit like four of her arms in there. Here's the back, same construction there, yeah. I mean, look at all these threads that they left in. Probably because they were over it by the time they got done. They were like, forget this. Yeah, I want to see some more of these versions. I think that they could be really cute, but they could also be, like, pretty wackadoodle, too. Gauze, dotted Swiss, polished cotton, and lawn. Single-fold bias tape, alphanumeric sizing. Two and an eighth, one and a quarter, one and a half yards of fabric, depending on, oh, depending on how many ruffles you have. So, yeah, I mean, two yards for a top, I, I don't love that, but one and a quarter, one and a half, absolutely. And then bust line measurement, 40 and a half to 58. Finished. All right. We've got another top here. And now I'm going to bring up something I brought up in the simplicity one again, because we've seen this girl three times now. All three patterns they had her in were fitted, which I appreciate. Um, when they make quote unquote inclusive patterns, but it's just a moo moo, I'm like, well, okay, but like, I think that I think that um, plus size women want to wear cute, trendy stuff too, and that's what they've given her this whole time. So that's good. Um, Mrs. and women's shirt tops have straps, ruffle and puff sleeves, cropped and upper hip length. I mean, they didn't make her the crop top version, but they could have. Um, okay. So we've got raglan sleeve into this little like pleated situation, which is interesting. The elastic shoulder, this little like same technique that they did on that midriff a few patterns back. Same thing here. Um, and then it's really fitted kind of corsety through the uh, waist. There it is with, with a, just a strap. There it is with a flutter sleeve, which is really cute. Show us the back. Thank you. Here's the shirring in the back. Yeah, that's exactly, that's real shirring. In the past, don't you remember they've been having us do like casings and then you feed the elastic through each casing? No. Now we're doing like real shirring. This again though, I don't know. This has got to be difficult. It looks better over here, I guess. 
but yeah, it's real cute. I don't necessarily know that I love... Uh, there could be, well, there can't be. The shirring is what pulls it all in. I don't know about this for me personally. Uh, the corsety D kind of top, or uh, what am I saying? The corsety D kind of waist. I don't know about that for me, but I'm also like, she's super flat through her stomach and I am not. So I just don't know how that would, I mean, how much Spanx would I need to wear? I don't want to wear Spanx in the summer. I don't want to wear Spanx ever. Ever. Maybe if like this were all shirt, but then this were like floatier or something. I mean, I'm sure I could hack it to make it work. Cotton blends, sear sucker, gingham, polished cotton. Are you guys getting tired of hearing those same fabrics over and over again? Elastic thread. That's it. The three sizes um, that we've talked about when they do misses and women's together. Up to one and an eighth, two yards, one and a quarter. <laughs> and then some interfacing. Kind of a lot of interfacing. Well, I don't know where they put all that interfacing, to be honest. And then bust line measurement, 34 to 52 and a half. And this is a pretty fitted bodice, so. Okay, now we've got this skirt. We're finally moving into the bottoms. Mrs. Skirts, Mrs. Full Circle Skirts in short, midi, and ankle lengths. Please tell me they're going to give us this top. I love this top. But pretty basic. You've got a waistband and a circle skirt, right? And this is going to take a million yards of fabric. They did a lapped or a shoot, not lapped. What is this zipper called? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Y'all leave it in the comments. I know y'all know what it's called. Um, which to me feels a little bit messy. I would have just done invisible, but okay. Oh, it's learn to sew. Okay, maybe that's why. Sew a bias seam, stitch a curved hem. Yeah, that's pretty much level two. Cotton blends, gingham, sateen, poplin, and then I'm going to add absolutely any fabric under the sun. <laughs> you can make these out of anything. Um... Zipper, hook and eye, alphanumeric sizing. The smallest one is one and three quarters of a yard. And then up to two and three quarters for the longest one. Oh, wait, contrast. Haha. -ha. So that's really five and a half yards for the longest one. And I bet it isn't even a true full circle because there's a side seam probably yeah there's a side seam right here so I'm not entirely sure if that makes it a full circle or not but you also have the pockets so something else to consider this for would be like holiday or like special events um you could easily make like a cute sparkly top with some kind of like you know I don't know special fabric for the bottom and have like a really cute prom dress or gala thing or I don't know wherever you're going um okay so we did that and no finished garment measurements now we have this little pleated number this is a skirt high-waisted pleated pencil skirts it's a pleated pencil skirt but it is pretty loose fitting some pencil skirts can be very you know, hip hugging. This is not one of those. You've got a one inch, maybe, um, waistband, true waistband, I think, with a full fly and everything. And then these pleats. There it is in a mini, uh, maybe knee length. Oh, and then look, four darts. <laughs> That's also probably why it's so roomy. Nice. Side seam pockets. 
Again, couldn't they have just given us a little slash here? I just, I just don't love side seam pockets on like fitted things. Okay. Yardage, cotton blends, twill, denim, linen. Yeah, your bottom weights. Uh, seven inch zipper, five eighths button, six to 14, 16 to 24. One and a half to two yards. And then hip line measurements, 41 to 56 and a half. So yeah, it is pretty roomy for a pencil skirt. I also really dig this longer length with this really high center front slit. That's really nice. I don't know that I'd be wearing it with a bathing suit. <laughs> That's not a bathing suit. I mean, maybe it is, but I don't know if I'd be wearing it with something this close fitting. Um, I'm, I don't know. I also kind of prefer like a thicker waistband, so I would probably increase that. All easy changes though, but the, the bulk of it is really, really good. I really like it, even though it's kind of a basic. All right, check these out. Mrs. Wide Leg Go Day Palazzo Pant. So this isn't 80s. This is 70s. Again with that top, please. I've already passed the tops. They definitely didn't give us this top. Tarn. Jackie, I want this top. Jackie's the designer of McCall's. Um, I mean, I guess I could probably make it myself out of some pattern I already have. It's just a center front seam, and then this is fed up through it. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> All right. So we've got our waistband, and then, okay, so go days are this panel here. See the, the other little floral? It comes up to a little point at the top and then is very wide at the bottom. So it, it adds in this wedge of fabric that just creates like the most <laughs> epic wide leg drapey pant. There you can see the go days really well. So fitted through the waist through your uh, to your low hip. And then it flares out from there. A really great example of it here. You can definitely see kind of where it's all fitted, 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 and then starts to flare out here. I love that they used a contrast fabric. I don't know that I would do that, but it really helps me illustrate to you guys kind of what a go day is and how it how it impacts the the pant. It, it totally looks like a skirt. Like it just does. So I'm not sure I understand the difference between A, B, and C, but maybe the line drawings will help. All right, so C is contrast, so that's pretty much the same. Oh, shorter version and longer version. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, guys, I'm I'm feeling this one. What do we need for fabrics? Crepes, stable knits, chalet, and cotton blends. So it's a woven. Oh, how much fabric do we need? Oh, man. So the shorter version is four, up to four and an eighth, five and three eighths for the pant version, and then the contrast version is four and a quarter plus two and an eighth. Okay, no finished garment measurements. Interesting. Yeah, I would definitely be poking around for some good fabrics because I got to imagine those are just beyond comfortable all right now we've got some pants carpenter cargo or color blocked pants what are we color blocking view b has a cuff oh gosh okay so it's like a wide leg cargo pant <sighs> you've got a <laughs> waistband a fly front Really big, wide uh, belt carriers, this huge, like, patch pocket situation, plus your little cargo pocket all in a wide leg pant. I just feel like styling these with sneakers was too obvious. You could have put these, this whole outfit with the blue sweatshirt and everything, with some different shoes and made it feel... Uh, cooler. I think cargo pants and sneakers, you're like, duh. High-waisted pants and sneakers, and not high-waisted, uh, wide leg pants and sneakers, though, that's feeling kind of odd to me. But if you would have put them with, like, 
I don't know, maybe a sandal or something. Like, you wouldn't wear these with sneakers. Also, what is this? Oh, then we have this version that has no pockets. I don't know. I feel like this could have been better executed style-wise. Maybe even, like, the color... They're not as wacky as, I, I guarantee you, within the next couple months, they're going to be posting on Instagram a look for less where there's some like high-end version of these out there somewhere and they look really freaking cool. These look like, they look like old or something. I don't know, but they could be cool. I really, I'm going to stand by that. I really, really believe that. Okay, so here's our little color blocked version. And also, does it really alternate like that? No, yeah, the color this, the color blocking is in the center. So this should have been gray and this should have been white. I mean, you can do it this way, but it's a little uh, circus tent. You have these, which are super cool, strappy high heel sandals, a thousand percent. You look like a so cool. Um, you can even do them in like satin, all kinds of fun different fabrics. And then these here, I just, I genuinely see these, maybe with a clog, maybe that's kind of where my mind is going. Maybe with those platform heels that that other girl had on. You could make these cool. You could, you could play up the juxtaposition a lot more between street style and high fashion and kind of, you know, find a balance between those a little bit better with this version. I don't hate them. I just don't like what they did with the styling. Twill linen denim. Twill linen denim chino. Try and say linen denim. Go ahead. Oh, wait. Linen denim. <laughs> it makes you giggle, right? Okay, seven inches. I think the longer the first impression Friday video is, the more delirious I get. So we still have plenty of patterns. I have no idea where this is going to end up. Uh, <laughs> zipper and waistband, hook and eye closure, and then some buttons. 6 to 14, 16 to 24. Pants A, you need one yard. What? Oh, and the contrast. Okay. One yard plus the other yard for contrast. Okay. Two and a quarter for B, which is the ankle cuff one. And then two and a half for the ones the model is wearing. Hip line measurement, 37 to 52 and a half. So, um... Decent amount of wearing ease in the hip. Not a ton, but not super close fitting either. All right, another pair of pants. Oh, huh, okay. <laughs> Mrs. Pleated shorts and pants with shaped waistbands. All right, so you know we have the Colette Iris, Colette Iris shorts. That ha is that what it is? that have this waistband or the Sewaholic something or another, maybe. Um, so this waistband is nothing new. It's definitely vintage. It's definitely like, you know, a throwback. Um, plus you've got the pleat. Now we've got a slash pocket and pretty straight leg. Here are the shorts. The shorts look totally regular, like nothing special at all. Fly front, regular waistband. Oh, then you have added the suspenders. Huh. Here's the back. Look at this. This is a, what is that, like a three-inch waistband plus a yoke? I honestly would make these with the front not dipping down and just straight across and have some really fantastic high-waisted straight leg pants. I mean, look at this crotch curve. They're really killing it on the fit on this one. I need to see this on somebody, though. I know obviously you wear it with a shirt underneath, but... I, I just, I can't, I'm having a hard time envisioning that. And then is A's, let's look at the line drawings. 
Oh, where are our line drawings? Here they are. So, <clears throat> okay, so you can see that the waistband on B is easily twice as big as A. But I like this deep waistband and I'd like it in the front. Thank you. Um, so that's something to contend with. And then you can also do the little scoopy waistband in the back if you wanted. Hmm. Yeah, these are, they're, they're, you know what? They're just very different. You don't see sewing patterns like this very often, not with this anyways. And I can't remember what the backs of those other two indie patterns look like, the ones that I mentioned before. But it's the yoke plus the waistband that has really got me going here. All right, linen, I'm oh, sorry, twill, linen denim, and chino. That's going to be one fabric now, linen denim. Seven inches zipper, five eighths buttons, and then six to 14, 16 to 24 on the sizes. The shorts, less than one and a half yards. The pants, two and a quarter yards. And then the ones with the straps are two and three eighths. Hip line measurement, 36 to 51 and a half. So about the same amount of ease as the last pair of pants we looked at. Again, with the pleats, we'll make it a little bit roomier. Did we see them? Yes. What did her back pockets look like? <coughs> yeah, pretty good. This one feels like higher, maybe. I don't know. Um, but the size is okay. And locations, okay. All right. My goodness with this top. How can you show this top so many times and then not give us a pattern for it? Check out these shorts, though. Mrs. Learn to Sew, Elastic Waist Shorts, Ruffle Hem, Wide Hem. C has a thigh. <laughs> thigh something. Thigh, I don't know what. So cute, though, right? This is how you wear crop tops when you're in your 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s. So, super wide waistband, elastic, then you've just got a basic short, really. I mean, you've got this one with the ruffle. Maybe thigh ruffle is what they were talking about. Longer leg line here. Totally modest, totally cute. I love how they're high-waisted and long. Side seam pocket. I know I give elastic pants, elastic waist pants, a lot of hell in these <laughs> First Impression Friday videos, but it's because they don't have to be that. You can do this, which isn't any different drafting, really, than those other pants, but they just look so special. I'm sure that we could all find a pair of elastic waisted pants in our stash. Make sure they're high rise. Make sure the elastic is nice, thick, one, one and a half inch elastic. Crop them to shorts. And you'd have this exact same pattern. There's not a single patch pocket, nothing. They did a good job matching up the plaid though. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's why I get so frustrated whenever they just like throw away the bottom half of the outfit, you know, when they could just even take the same concept and, and elevate it even just a little bit. These are really cute. The ease, the fit, all of it looks really, really good. Poplin, crate, cotton blends, chambray. I think this might be a linen. Um, one inch elastic in here, extra small to medium and then large to two X on the sizes there. Hip line measurement, 40 and a half to 58. Okay. Now, oh my goodness. What is this? 
Mrs. Tops and Shorts. Oh, it's like a cycling outfit. It's a cycling outfit. I know so many people who sew and cycle. I hope they see this. Mrs. Bike Tops and Shorts. View B and C as a contrast. That said also, bike shorts, not that different from short leggings though, let's be real, are super, super trendy. Not in these, you know, athletic fabrics, but in like a rib knit. Yes. Yes. People are doing that. Um, okay. So you've got all this seaming, which is really, really pretty. You've got your <laughs> traditional, um, like elbow length sleeve. And then you've got a mimic of the seaming on the shorts. <laughs> oh, look, they even give you a puff sleeve, a puff sleeve for riding your bike. Or are they trying to say you can wear these other places? Here is our short. Yeah, they are trying to say you can wear this other places. Good for them. Those are also not cycling shoes and this not really, I mean, it is a bicycle, but you know, that's not where you're wearing a cycle. Someone who wears a cycling outfit is not on like a beach comber bike nor are they wearing platform patent leather pink sneakers. You have to wear the ones that snap in. But listen, if I were going to take up cycling, this is what I would show up in with my beach bike. <laughs> All right, here's the back. Look, they even did like a little pocket for your water bottle. So thoughtful. A little bit of extra fabric happening through here. I'm not entirely sure where it's stemming from, but something to check out. Interesting. Okay. I was not expecting cycling outfit. The shorts are good, though. I like this yoke. Yep. All right. Four-way stretch knits with 75% stretch. Those are some stretchy clothes. And then athletic knits. You need elastic, I think, for that back pocket. And then 6 to 14, 16 to 24, almost less than a yard for the two. Oh, no. Okay, so A is one and three-quarters yard. Then you have two contrast. This is the one with the puff sleeve. This is the one the model's wearing top-wise. This is what the model's wearing shorts-wise. No finished garment measurements. Yeah, cool. All right, now we've got a jacket for summer. Mrs. Button-Up Shacket, which I've been trying to get the word shacket out there as much as I possibly can. It's a shirt jacket um, with drop shoulder and long sleeve back yoke and inverted pleat. So this is a shacket, but like, did they need to make it in fleece for summer? Shackets can also definitely be lightweight. They can be out of chambray, all kinds of great stuff. But let's take a look at these details. We've got a collar with a stand, I think. Is that a hood? Uh, drop shoulder with top stitching. You've got this front button placket with nice big buttons. Two-piece sleeve. The sleeve comes down into these little um, darts, which are so nice. Or I guess they're more like pleats. Big cuff with a pointed um, end and a button. Then they mimic that point here with the welt pocket. So nice. Shirt tail hem, which is really signature of a jacket. Then the back, you've got a yoke, just like a shirt would have. You've got this pleat pleat uh, what is it called when the pleat is closed on both sides hmm. and yes definitely a collar stand happening there oh melissa watson god i haven't seen anything from her in forever so here it is so you can imagine it not in fleece um if they would have shown that version in fleece in the even in the early spring catalog i'd have been like okay that makes sense this just feels a little bit late, but like I said, you can make it out of a gajillion different fabrics. You can also make this pattern out of shirting fabric and have one of those really oversized 
shirts that I was telling you guys about in the style trends video. Maybe leave off the welt pocket. Um, but that's how you would achieve that. All right. Let's see. Yardage, twill, linen denim, wool blends, <laughs> seven one inch buttons and one five eighths inch button. And then 6 to 14 and 16 to 24 on the sizing, 2 and 5 eighths of a yard, just the one view. And then the bust line measurement is 46 to 61 and a half. I mean, it's really roomy. Maybe get it now and save it for fall, winter. Or obviously, if you're not in the States, you can get a digital pattern um, if it's about to be winter for you. It's a good, it's nice. It's a good pattern. Lots of great details. Just feels, oh, I just would never make a jacket right now. All right, now we've got some costumes. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to go over these because I just don't even know where to begin. I mean, look at this. That is incredible. Leotard with front and back something panel. Whoa. Whoa. More costumes, cosplay, I guess. So you'll have to go check those out. So cool. So cool, just uh, not me. I, again, same thing with the party lifestyle. The cosplay thing, not part of my lifestyle. I wish I were cool enough to be into cosplay, but I'm not. Okay, you guys. That's it. That's McCall's Spring Summer. Um, I like to do the lookbook here at the very end because it helps us remember everything we've seen. So, what did you think? Now they're saying over 30. Well, what is it? 30 or 40? Um, oh my gosh, it feels like yesterday I was talking about this pattern. What did you guys think of this collection by and large? I think, I mean, there's a lot of patterns, right? There's a lot happening here. So I imagine a lot of you wrote down a lot of numbers. I will be interested to see what actually ends up in your carts. Um, a lot of them seemed similar to each other. Um, a lot of them seemed like we may be able to make them from patterns we already own if we've been sewing for a little while. If you're new to sewing, my goodness, I bet you're so overwhelmed. You don't know what to do with yourself. Um, but I think that fit looked pretty good. I feel like it appealed to a lot of different demographics, even if they style them to appeal to one particular type. I feel like we can see we can see ourselves, no matter our age, our lifestyle. What, you know, no matter any of that stuff, um, we can see ourselves wearing lots of these different patterns. So I would love to just know your thoughts. Can't wait to hear it. See, there's a whole different um, photo shoot in the Swacket. That's also why I like the, um, the uh, lookbook. Anyways, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going to be getting. Can't wait to hear from you guys. I will see you all very soon. Bye.